Unit 8, Lesson 3, Geometric Probability. Your two objectives for this lesson are to find probabilities by using length and to find probabilities by using area. Okay. So geometric probability involves a geometric measure and two types of geometric probability involve length and area. So if we look here, we have a line segment and if you look at just the line segment KL, you see that it is part of the larger segment RS. If you wanted to put a point on here randomly and call it M, so it could end up here, that could be M, it could be here, and that could be M, it could be anywhere on this line segment. The probability that M is on the smaller segment KL is KL divided by RS. So KL's length divided by RS's length. Example one, point X is chosen at random on segment AD. So it's somewhere on this segment. We want to find the probability that X is on AB. Okay, so let's start off. Remember it's gonna be part divided by whole. So AB, is 8. And the whole thing is going to be 8 plus 2 plus 6, which is 16. Okay, so 8 over 16, and we can simplify that to 1 half. So the probability that x is on AB is 1 over 2. Example 2. Suppose a coin is flipped into a reflection pond designed with colored tiles that form three concentric circles on the bottom. The diameter of the center circle is 4 feet. So you can see that here, diameter is 4 feet. And the circles are spaced 2 feet apart. What is the probability the coin lands in the center. Okay, so this is a probability involving area. And we're still going to do part over whole. And we have circles, so we need to know the area of a circle. So remember the area of a circle is pi r squared. And the radius of the center, this is the diameter, so the radius is 2. So my area of that small one is pi times 2 squared, or 4 pi. Okay, and then beyond this, so that's 2, and then this is 2, and this is 2. So the radius of the big circle is 2 plus 2 plus 2, which is 6. So we have pi times 6 squared, or 36 pi. Notice I haven't put anything in the calculator yet. So um, at this point, if you really wanted to, you could put this in the calculator. But let's just cancel this here. So the pi's cancel. We have 4 over 36, and that simplifies to 1 over 9. So the probability that this coin lands in the center is 1 over 9. Okay? And I believe, yep, that is the end of lesson 3.